Getting to, to and from XNA can be a big challenge for some travelers because of the two lane highway, but big changes are coming soon. Five News reporter Jacob Luthi was in Highville and has more now on a groundbreaking of a new XNA access road that will provide more accessibility to and from the airport. If you've ever traveled to XNA, maybe running a little bit late to catch a flight, you may have noticed it can be a bit of a struggle with one way in and one way out on a two lane highway. But in the coming years, that's all about to change. And officials say it's to meet the growing demands of Northwest Arkansas. A groundbreaking ceremony was held today to mark the start of construction on portions of what officials are calling the Northwest Arkansas National Airport Access Road. Dave Parker with RDOT says the project is supposed to help make traffic to and from XNA more efficient for travelers. Anytime you can, can uh, help an area that's thriving, growing, uh, you know that people are going to appreciate uh, the bypass, getting around quicker, safer, more efficiently. You know people going to and from the airport are going to be happier, uh, not have to worry as much about maybe missing a flight, that sort of thing. That's a good feeling. According to RDOT, the Springdale bypass will be a four-lane interstate that connects Highway 412 in Tawnytown to parts of Highway 112 in Washington and Benton counties. This project is expected to be completed in 2026. The XNA connector will stretch four miles between XNA and the Springdale Bypass with a completion date set for 2027. According to Director of RDOT Lori Tudor, the projects are being funded by the Renew Arkansas Highway Program that voters approved through the extension of the half cent sales tax. It takes everybody to get these projects off the ground. Both of these projects represent a total cost of $410 million. Of that is right away design and construction. Construction is $310 million. Tudor added that when the entire access road is completed, it will be 21 miles long and cost around $1 billion. Everyone we spoke to, even some who make the trip daily for work from Fayetteville, says they cannot wait for this project to eventually get done. It's been a long time coming, but they say the wait will be worth it. In Highfield, covering news where you live, Jacob Luthi, Five News.